There are sensors everywhere, in machinery, in roads and bridges, but as far as concerns better managing traffic and improving long-term planning, the most transformative sensor platform by far is in our hands. In 2013, there were 6.6 billion mobile subscriptions globally, a number that Ericsson estimates will grow to 9 billion five years from now. About two-thirds of these concern phones that can be roughly located and tracked, whereas one-third involves smartphones, phones with multiple and precise sensor chips embedded. These sensor platforms will provide the bulk of mobility-related data in the future, and as they do, they will raise considerable privacy concerns. And here's why. Consider an individual's movement through a city, movement that is not only along two coordinate planes, but also their movement in time, here along a vertical axis. Other people move through the city as well, each with their own space-time trajectories. Our daily behavior is highly repetitive, as are the space-time trajectories that we produce and that are recorded by our mobile devices or using our mobile devices. Because of this, data concerning individual trajectories serves as a powerful quasi-identifier. They allow individuals to be identified much as a fingerprint does. This information is extremely valuable. Some have called data the new oil of the digital economy. To push that analogy further, if data is the core resource for the 21st century, then location data is the new economy's gold.